welcome to kesar i hope all you doing well today i am going to show how to download and install mysql so let's go to our favorite browser so type mysql in the browser here we can see mysql official website just click on that here go to download section come at the bottom here you can see mysql community gpl downloads click on that and also we have mysql installer for windows let's actually we are installing and we are mysql for windows hence i am clicking on mysql installer of for windows just click on it once you click on that will redirect to mysql community downloads here we can see two option windows 86 32 bit inst msi installer windows 86 32 bit msi installer so here they have mentioned 32 bit but it will work 64 bit also not to worry so first one it's a, it's a web installer it used to download the file over the internet second one is the offline installer it included all the files in the downloaded folder so we'll go for the second one offline installer just click on that here we can see two option login and sign up so here no need to login and sign up we can uh, download uh, without a login just click on no thanks and just start my download so download is started it's okay because i have already downloaded the file so i'll go to down folder the download folders mysql installer i'll click on that started installing here is asking for the access just give s click on s here we can see the mysql installer pop up this is the installer pop up uh, in left hand side we can see four option choosing a setup download installations installation complete in right hand side we can see the uh, developer default service server only client only full custom so we have to complete all the steps we have to come by step by step by step Uh, to complete the installation so if you skip any steps now so it's a uh, leads to a problem while writing the code we have to install uh, each and every uh, steps so we have we need to have a patience so i'll select developer default i don't i will not change anything i'll just click on the next here it's asking for the installation directory like a path where we have to save the mysql so i'm not changing anything i'll default give uh, whatever the address mentioned in the uh, c uh, in the path just i'll click on next so it's asking some warnings so click s yes. so next click on next here here I again is asking some uh, warning click on s yes. here we have to install all these products don't skip anything just install everything just start execute don't skip anything if you skip any products so it will not run properly it takes some time to install so we need to download all the products just go one by one have a patience this green tick mark will show the product is uh, download uh, sorry installed so now all the products are completed uh, installing so click on next click on next so here is asking for server configuration type and tcp connectivity port and exportal port so i'm not changing anything just i'm clicking next here i asking for authentication use strong password encryption for authentication okay we'll click on next so here we have to give the password please provide the easy password is uh, easy to remember so i'll give 1 2 3 4 we have to remember the password so showing week let's give 1 to 8 give the password is easy to remember click on next see this is the windows server name mysql 80 so what is this mysql 80 is uh, is the latest version like 8.03 it has taken the name mysql 80 okay it's installing is asking for the file permission where we have to install it just click on next no need to change anything so click on execute so all are getting downloaded some more files are left okay click on finish click on next okay just click on finish no need to do anything click on next okay here you have to give the password what you have provided in the server authentication okay click on check so you have see the green tick you can see the green tick connection is succeeded the connection got uh, established if you type any wrong password it will show the into mark so the connection is failed in the status so please be sure to give the correct password what you have given in the before so click on execute click on finish click on next 
So click on finish. So MySQL got installed. So just close it. Well, everything will open the file just in desktop type MySQL. MySQL workbench got installed. Just open it. Here you can see local instance. So because we are installing for our uh, system only, hence it's taking as a local host. Just type the password what you have given at the time of installation. Okay. Okay, here you can see the navigations. Oh, this is called Object Explorer. This is the action output. This window is called Query Editor. So, successfully, my SQL in my SQL workbench got installed. Hope you understand the video. So, I think it will help for you people. Thanks for watching this video. We'll meet in the next video.